vines are gone, but there's no way I'm going near those bees. You might think this thought tuner looks dorky, but I think it's cool. into the icy grip of Lake Rulovia. My light flashing before my eyes. Oh my god, what did you do? I said a prayer. I thought of you. Aww. And then I remembered the super sneezing powder I keep for emergencies. You blew your brains out? Right through my nose, and up to the surface where I assume Ford found it. His mind must have been shattered before he could tell us about it. So I just ended up in Otto's unclaimed brains bin. So, uh, where's your body? I assume it's a handsome popsicle at the bottom of Lake Rulovia. Well, let's get back and get it. It would be nice to see how well I've aged. Or maybe not aged. Not fair. Your body's been preserved on ice for 20 years. Mine looks like this. Ah, you'll look a lot younger after we shave that beard. Oh, you do not want to see what is under this hair. Oh, what is it? Honestly, uh, I have no idea. So, this body is from someone named Nick from the mailroom? So I'm told. Uh, first question, w when did we get a mailroom? No idea. I don't go over to the new place much. The second question, where's mailman Nick's brain? Lost is what I hear. Well, they should search Otto's creepy brain collection. He doesn't keep the best records. Hey, want some gooby duck? Yes! We'll do again. You again? Hey! How are you feeling? I feel so much better. I love being in a body again so much. Every sight, every sound, every... everything! How are you feeling? I feel so... I love being in a body again so much. Every sight, every sound, every... everything! Oh! Stinging! It's painful!
What's wrong, bees? Smoke get in your eyes. Ow. Witch, you don't exist. You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding? Ford wants me to turn on the astrolabe, but it's covered in, well, really angry bees. Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says. I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she? There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Copy of Mind Swarm. I was wondering when you were going to ask. What took you so long? Thanks, Cassie. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but my beekeeper doesn't do that. 
because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. What's up with these strange bee things? I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. Do you spend time with Bob Zanotto? No. Bob doesn't really want to spend time with anyone these days. He cut himself off from everybody after he lost Helmet. I'm worried about him, but I don't know how to help. What are you doing out here by yourself? Why don't you work out of the motherlode? with the rest of the Psychonauts. Oh, I never could adapt to the whole new Psychonauts thing. I like to stay out here and remember the old days. Also, I want to take care of it as best I can, in case Ford and the others ever come back. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. Hello? Cassie? Bees? Cassie? I... It's okay, I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain. Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book, now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country. But that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny.
find these books. I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant and I already looked so give it up. Not a child. No. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Sensors know when something's wrong. Kill the thoughts that don't belong. Seriously? Have you 
seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. Hi. Memento Mori. Okay. <laughs> Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Hi, I'm Raz. And I am the Lady of the Lake, helper of knights on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry, already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. So sorry. Not to worry. It was his secret wish. Really? I think so. That's why I pushed him. Yep. being in this book. Watch out! There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you! Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you say for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves. Sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on... Thank you. 
vision of the archetype you need most right now. He's the trickster. I'm a fish! Look a at my bow! Mentor. Or maybe a mighty warrior? Close your eyes. Almost. Try again. It doesn't always happen right away. Well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Archetype that will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Oh, look at him go! So cute! Open the door like a pesky zoo. That's the spirit. What a good boy. See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end. And then, I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Hi there. Lob dub. What was that? Lob dub. Lob dub. Lob dub. Uh. Lob. Hey, I know you. Aren't you from The Mind and Introduction? Yes, yes. Always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though. Sorry. Wow. Conceited. Please excuse me. I have a lot of thinking. <sighs> Why so glum, Dino Chum? Well, I'm from an old textbook, and it turns out I'm not considered a real dinosaur anymore. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. Is that a penny over there? <laughs> don't you just love books? <laughs> They're delicious. Hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that, some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Doody doo! Excuse me. Yes? Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. <laughs> How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. Yikes. Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Aren't you cold? Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin, no cold. You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Why aren't you, like, dripping blood and stuff? It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Kill my 
I'm missing a piece. Can you calculate its volume? No. Kids today. What are you a formula for? Sine waves. Hey, are you the formula for a general conical surface? No, I just clenched my belt too tight. Hard to breathe. It's nice try, but I'm covalently bonded, sucker. Hi, what are you two up to? Shh, we're running away from our spouses to start a new life together. Periodically. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Yeah, what's that sound? was bequeathed to me by the fair lady of the lake, so that I may slay this dragon. What did I ever do to you? What are you guys fighting about? No idea. I was just chilling when the crusader here got all aggro on me. Let those be thy last words, worm from hell! Hey, can I borrow that sword? Yes, please take it. Nay! For tis my duty most holy to embed its steel into this deadly beast. See? What normal person talks that way? Is there a way we could maybe de-escalate this situation? This guy and his horse are just straight up jerks. <laughs> I agree, Silverwind. Dragons are a plague on our land. Mr. Knight? That's Sir Knight to you. Sir Knight, maybe you should just leave that dragon alone? Have you allied yourself with the devil's winged serpent? Hey, kid, don't worry about it. I already called the cops. I'm just keeping this weirdo occupied until they get here. Summon whatever reinforcements you wish. We'll need them to haul your stinking carcass away. <laughs> okay, buddy. Maybe we should focus on what you two have in common. Like... Do you guys like pizza? Oh, yeah. Me... me too. Well, that's amazing. I had no idea dragons liked pizza. Great. What are your favorite flavors? Pepperoni. I usually get half and half. On one side, I like pineapple and ham, and on the other side, I like maidens and cheese. Oh, my God! Pineapple and ham is an abomination! I knew you were a fell beast. Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. I think I hear something. You don't bite people, do you? Only if their name is Ferris. Huh? Sorry, magnet humor. First tag.
damage. Say nice things and have me hurt, but enablers just make things worse. To work together so well really inspired me and it gave me an idea we need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together round up all the runaway books and give them to the librarian but she'll lock you all up oh don't worry we won't be in them we'll be with you now go find the others hurry the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Malignula must have brought this librarian to power, to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. Hey, can you help me find these books? I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. Piece. I'm going to stand over easy squeezy. Why do I have to do all the hard work? Hey, are you William Shakespeare? Forsooth, etc. Oh, wow. You really talk that way. No, I just like to give the fans what they want. Huzzah. Raz, what's your name? Say my name, and I shall release the child! Rumpelstiltskin! <laughs> no, wait, is that someone's real name? Feel bad for that guy. Ah, 
I doesn't matter anyway. I thought the baby was creepy. So I sold it to the Pretzelmeister. I'm Raz. What's your name? Say my name, and I shall release the child. Lance? Hey, did somebody tell you? Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. I thought the baby was creepy. So I sold it to the Pretzelmeister. Do you know any spells that help find books? Of course. Hi, I'm Raz. And I am the Fisher King, last guardian of the Holy Grail. Really? Then where's the Grail? Currently in the dishwasher. The dishwasher? Top shelf boy. Gentle cycle, don't worry. They talk like this. Arr! Hey, it's not raining in here. Oh, this is just a fashion piece. It distracts people from my nose. Very scary. Oh, you think so? Why, thank you. That really makes my day. Witch, but can I borrow your magic wand? Sorry, sorry. I'm just roasting a marshmallow here. <laughs> Excuse me, Ms. Witch, but can I borrow your magic wand? Sorry, sorry. I'm just roasting a marshmallow here. <laughs> I think I just jinxed it.
She works in here. But be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself. But I do what I need to survive. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more... thick-skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh! Never say bust in here too loudly. But it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, Teach. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up. And she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen, don't tell anyone. But the cops are closing in on this place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days. And I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need and we'll... We'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? Deal. But remember, never double-cross a double-crosser. Okay, I need three pieces of evidence. Better split up. Wait, who am I talking to? Uh, oh! Hear some emotional baggage nearby. I think I hear something. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Investigating Fanny Flats? Sorry, kid. Can't, you know, comment on an ongoing investigation or whatnot. So you are investigating Fanny Flats? I didn't say nothing. What are you investigating? Well, I'm thinking of investigating weird little kids with goggles who've recently drifted in from out of town. Any idea where I can find some evidence of Fanny Flats' crimes? Corruption runs deep in this town, kid. You can find evidence of it everywhere. Especially in the fish cannery, the print shop, and the market. What would you do with evidence if you were to hypothetically find some? Oh, we'd use it to put the squeeze on Fanny, of course. Like, legally speaking? Yeah, yeah, totally legal squeezing. I'll let you get back to work. Stay out of trouble, kid. Wow. This carving is beautiful. I need to find some evidence, quick. Slow and steady. 
wins the race? Wins the... Race? Evidence. <sighs> hey, seen any evidence around here? Nope. If I did, I'd remember. I'm an elephant. I noticed. Notice what? That you're an elephant. Yeah, I am. What about it? Why, thank you. We would have done more, but we got full. Hi, worms. Yo! Do either of you know which way the fish cannery is? Yes, yeah, over there. Well, we take you there, but the smell is out of control. What do you know about Fanny Flats? Huh, she runs this town with her fake money business. But she doesn't control us bookworms. Every time she tries to cut us down, we just multiply. Do you have any evidence that incriminates Fanny Flats? Oh yeah, we just uncovered a big juicy piece of evidence this morning. Can I have it? We ate it? What did you expect? Okay, bye. If you see any juicy evidence, please don't eat it. Okay! <laughs> wow, this carving is beautiful. Why, thank you! Get some good dirt on it, Fanny Flats. Fishy. Better take it as evidence. I think that's the best evidence I'll find in this part of town. I should check out the other neighborhoods for more. Kitty. Meow. Don't 
don't eat the fish. It's full of mercury. We would have done more, but we got full.
This fish market is clean. For a fish market, I mean. But just dirty enough to have some juicy evidence, I'll bet. Don't need carp. Carp is garbage fish. I'm a pet. Terribly old and rotten fish here. Catfish will make you smarter. Carp air freshener. Fish with worms. Cat I'll have some catfish, please. One catfish-ish coming up. Catfish-ish? It's so close to catfish, you can't taste the difference. Never mind. Carp, they have a name yet. Fishy fish! And by fishy, I mean its freshness is suspect. Ha! Sorry, but why would anybody want to buy rotten fish? Listen, all the fish in this market is rotten. I'm the only one telling you the truth! Fair enough. Hey, what's a panda bear doing in a fish market? Buying fish just like everybody else. So Like some carp? Don't have any. What's that on your back? Plastic samples. I'm just doing test marketing. Tell me, how likely are you to buy carp in the next 10 days? Somewhat likely. Thank you for taking our survey. You've automatically been added to our mailing list. Oh, great. Okay, time to gather evidence. <gasps> Looks like evidence of something. One more piece of evidence to find. Put catfish in shoes to cure flat feet. Carp keychains. We called fish. Don't eat trout. Or you'll get gout. 
Enabler's protection. anything until I get rid of that enable. causing this bad mood around here. Looks like those guys just went out of print. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, collecting evidence. I've got to stop saying that so loudly.
think I smell some ripe evidence nearby. I think that's all the evidence Cassie needs. I got all the evidence I need. Better bring it back to Cassie quick. some emotional baggage nearby. <laughs> That's all the evidence we could get. Think it's enough? Let me be the judge of that. Oh, yeah. This is some hot dirt right here. We'll be able to blackmail her with this for years. Blackmail? I thought you were going to arrest her. What? How is she going to make the money she needs to pay us from jail? But if she's not locked up and she finds out I was the one who sent her up the river... Hey, don't worry. We'll, uh, protect you or something. Let's beat it. This was a bust. What? Bust? Bust! It's a bust! Ah! Ah! Ew. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Hey, she was forced into the outlaw life. Not that part. I just meant... Nobody likes a snitch. There you are, all safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Put me down! Of all the double-crossing... This was all part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect. When we're all together. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. We should never have let her split us up. When we're together, nothing is impossible. Well, that tears it. I hate to damage a book, of course. But that last line was too corny, even for a motivational speaker. We're not going to let you control us anymore. Oh, and which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you could stop Maligula. None of you could protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia. Huh? 
And I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader. Ready for the shushing of your life! Ending to the story. What's going on? Who's in here? Hello, Cassie. You? The self-righteous little writer? What are you doing in here? We writers are most effective when we get inside someone's head. Get to count me. Ow! 
I failed again. I guess, I guess I'm not the real Cassie. Yes, you are. And so am I. Me too. Mostly when we need money. Hey, I'm pretty good in a fight. You might have noticed. Are you the real Cassie? Hmm, not sure. But I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Now then, did you say something about my bees? They aren't behaving, are they? That's it. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try. But I feel like I've... lost a little control of them. Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, bully! How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Well then, 
think we can get this swarm to stand down? I do. Bedtime for bees. So, how's production? Uh, jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on, 